What is going on all you treasure hunters and welcome back. It's a long awaited time. We've been really busy. Q4 kicked in and we have been feeling it. But don't you worry, we've been out treasure hunting and finding a bunch of stuff. Um, there's tons of videos coming. We have a stockpile for the winter. But today we are here just updating everyone. We went to two auctions recently. Got some stuff loaded. As you can see, we're in my store that you cannot walk around right now because there's just so much stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys what we found and from the past two auctions that were honestly pretty good in my eyes. So let's get right into this one. All right, so as I said, there was two different auctions. So there's stuff all over the place. So I'm just gonna pick and choose and hopefully we're gonna get the right prices on everything. But right away, we picked these two Coca-Cola stained glass lamps both work the globes for the bottom are in here had them packed away nicely so they wouldn't break um we ended up paying twenty dollars a piece for these um i believe we should get about 60 to 65 um these will be going down to my antique vendor booth which i will be taking you guys very very soon be patient we got some work done down there so that's looking nice but we'll get down there Maybe we'll hang these up and show you guys around, but should get us about 60, 65 a piece there because I am not shipping these things. Um, surprisingly, no cracks in these. These are actually very, very nice condition. Just, you know, as you can see a little bit of wear there, um, this one's actually pretty perfect, but just because they're just so thin plastic with the light, they used to get brittle and cracked, but these have no cracks. As I said, they have the globe, they have another bulb underneath. So 60 to 65 a piece on those should be wonderful. And on to the next, we got a lot of Tupperware. Now these are two lots mixed in between. Um, I think in total we paid $15, I think it was off the top of my head. Um, can't remember. But yeah, this is packed to the brim. Um, this stuff sells online. I sell it down in my antique booth. So we'll get through it, get it all separated and see what we got. But that is a lot, a lot of Tupperware. And we'll keep on going here. Um, as you can see, this box needs to be fixed up a little bit. It's bottoms falling out, but I don't normally pick up Barbies. But this one I always grab because it is the 1988 special edition happy holiday barbie um now in like perfect new condition this i believe goes from like 80 to 100 120 um i remember i bought a bunch of barbies one time and this one was in it and i remember selling it for that much and it was just shocking because normally barbies you get about 10 15 dollars a piece maybe 25 for a couple of them but that one obviously the one you want to look out for 1988 but obviously make sure it's tied down and the box is in better condition on to the next one now this one i really didn't want to buy it but it was a dollar because right there as you can see it has a crack so if you ever get a neon and it's cracked the neon will not work obviously because the powder inside the neon goes through it and that's what causes it to light but there's not a crack on this side but for a dollar um we'll get the inside light to work someone will want it um i mean even for 20 25 dollars a dollar into that and i mean i have light bulbs they are usually just the little little lamps i don't have one nearby but you know kind of like this but smaller but throw that in it'll work and next up, we got this one. Budweiser World Champion Clydesdale Team. This one, definitely pretty. I'm not into keeping beer signs, but this one is definitely cool. As you can see, it lights up, clock works. Um, I'm not sure if there's supposed to be a light in there. I honestly don't see one, but you never know. We'll check the back and see um where it comes worse it needs a bulb we'll get to that let me go around the back side here show you what the sign flip you 
guys there. As you can see, it is a A and Eagle Showcase Modular Item Number 031-219. Um, dated 1988. Um, but yeah, working condition. Um, I did see one little thing wrong. Well, there are a couple things wrong with it, but one little thing on the inside. Um, that is appears to be that and somehow it looks like it fallen off the other side so that's a little problem um, I don't think it'll affect the value too too much but the other problem is these two screws are broken um, normally happens I'm guessing they went and changed the bolt and they just get a little too handsy um, as you can see you would just have to line it up and pull it out they probably got tired of it and just broke it off um who knows when they did that but yeah there's that um no solds in the past two years i believe um but there are some listed between the six and seven hundred dollar range um so these are the ones that are listed the one on the top and the one on the bottom are the same kind of sign but instead of a clock it just says budweiser on it um, the one above that is not the same one and the other one is not the same one. So as you can see, 699 and 675 are two active listings that are kind of the same, but they say Budweiser instead of having a clock. Shipping though, as you can tell, it's not a light sign. Um, it's very heavy. So I believe this will definitely be a local pickup, um, put it at my vendor booth type thing because of the weight and dimensions but yep as you can see it was 222 now it's 224 the clock works and everything so yeah but we, i didn't tell you what i paid obviously but we paid 140 dollars for this 140 so i think that was definitely the steal of the day so Cracker Barrel, another good brand. We got the Holiday Beagle, obviously, with the box. Let's pull it out here. I'm definitely gonna need some stuffing on the inside. We'll double box it, but there it is. Um, nothing crazy. I like picking up Cracker Barrel stuff. Um, their holiday stuff, especially. I remember I found a what was it, Christmas house in a storage unit one time, and it sold very well and fast. So. Ever since then, I've always kept an eye out for Cracker Barrel. Um, let me set you guys down. All right. So next up, we got our little Daffy Duck um, Christmas statue, resin statue. Um, very good um, if it was in perfect condition. But I want to be careful here. Um, if you guys can see, I know the lighting's crap. I don't have my phone on me, but there is a little crack right there in the leg. Obviously going to affect the value and another one right there but still um i still think 50 60 dollars i think i think com like perfect comps are 75 plus so i mean the the leg cracked aren't too bad um obviously it stands it still looks nice um you really have to look at, for those cracks to see that they were there but we paid let me get my cheat cheat out because I want to be accurate on this one. Alright, so my cheat sheet has told me. We have paid $15 for this. And I forgot to tell you, we paid $8.50 for the Beagle. Like I said, I'll pop up comps. Um, I forget what the Beagle goes for. But I remember what Donald goes for. So, $15 into $50 or $60 probably. I'm definitely local. Um, going to my booth. Um, I sell Disney stuff very well there. Um, Disney is definitely something you can sell local if you don't want to post it for bigger things like this um, and fragile because I don't want the legs to break even more than they already are this for myself we are um, finger my mom thought it was cool I thought it was cool so why not I um, got this in a bunch lot of Philly stuff um, Obviously, I'm a Phillies fan, but we did get some stuff to sell. I'll show you that after this. A little Bugs Bunny hat, like, suction cup thing. Got some hats that are gonna need to be brought back to life, but I don't have any cool vintage Phillies hats, so this 
these, this, these. We'll get to these. That one, this one will definitely look cool. This one's just like a painter's hat in my collection for sure. I love the old corduroy. Can't beat the corduroy. But yeah, those are for myself. What do we got to go on next? Large flower tip. I got to get the cheat cheat out for this one because we got this one for steel as well. Okay, so look at my cheat sheet it said we paid 37 dollars for this um large large fire tin um three foot tall i'd say um does have a little bit of wear um light blue colorway i definitely like this one a lot more um I, luckily i just found this after i was at my vendor mall the antique booth whatever you want to call it um i saw one behind the counter and someone bought one exactly like this one um didn't really look at the condition but they had $135, so I don't know. Sometimes people do 10%, sometimes people have a sale, so I don't know if they had a sale or not, but 125, 135, um, maybe, maybe 100, but we paid 37 for that. Um, very, very cool. I did have a brown one before I sold down there, but definitely like the blue a lot more than the brown. You can see it a lot better. Um, move over, um, I can't. I'll show that. That's mine. I love Marilyn. That's my girl. Full puzzle. Um, ooh. Let's see if we can get this flipped around. We'll just lay it down. We got Disney, Fireman, Mickey Mouse, Sprinkler. Um, I don't think we'll be testing this this year because right now it is very cold outside and I don't know if I want to play with water in the winter time. But we'll get this tested um pop up comps we paid five dollars for this so we'll see what comps say i didn't really look them up i kind of just took the gamble because mickey sprinkler pretty cool um we got this i'm being honest i don't remember what we paid for this it came with um other tins but this one should get us about 15 to 20 um this is a local one but i do sell this one on ebay um the shipping actually isn't too bad on this one. I believe you can get like, it's either like 14 by 14 or 13 by 13 by 10 box that fits in this. And USPS shipping on that is actually pretty decent still. But we got some belt buckles. I love belt buckles. So I'm going to bring these up because these are the reason I bought them. Um, there was more in this lot. I'll pop up some pictures because they are listed. You can go check them out on eBay. But these four are already sold. These two are local ones. We paid $45 for the lot um, with the pictures that popped up. But these two were the big ones. We got Marmon trucks. Um, super... I guess super rare ones. This one's dated 1984. Um, these are all being sold locally. Um, a guy is buying all four of them. We'll pop up comps for these. Um, I believe he's buying all four of these for $215. Um, these are pretty rare for like a local company. Um, this is a local one. A little funny kind of thing. East Penn Safe Driver, a little ATV. Um, we do have three more of these that aren't like bent, but three more explosives. We got this one. Um, I don't believe the coin is real, but from just from a comp say, this is just like a $10 belt buckle, but the coin did fall out, so I do have to glue it back on. One of these two lots we got. Got this. This came with the Phillies a lot. Louisville Slugger Reading Phillies. Mini bat. Um, we'll sell that. That's pretty cool. Um, but we got some Green Bay Packers. Huh? This is actually kind of funny. We got some Green Bay Packers and some Minnesota Vikings stuff in the same box. Um, here those fans are not going to be happy. But yeah, we got a bunch, bunch of little stuff. So once again, some more lots. We got a Brett Favre. Um, this is nothing crazy. But a bunch of little stuff. Brett Favre car. Um super saturated probably on ebay but locally but yeah a bunch of little stuff um i'll pop up stuff we have listed that is really the reason we bought it um but like i said a bunch of little things um looks like that's an earring i don't know if 
There's another one. We got a pin. Breath fire. So we only got one earring, a little football keychain. Oh, here's another one. Just felt lost. So that's that's pretty cool. So like I said before, little stuff adds up and we'll go behind me. And then, um, another reason, um, I actually have these. So these came in that Phillies lot. Um, I believe these are like 15 to 20 each. Um, Reinhardt's milk bottle. I love selling milk bottles in PA. We... A lot of people collect milk bottles and obviously i do sell them online because i've noticed they go to out of state people um obviously they might have lived you know in pennsylvania and had to move for some reason but they still want pennsylvania milk bottles so got this um as you can see environmental poster um no one bid on it and i figured it was worth a five dollar bid um I don't think there's any comps. I try to look some up. Maybe we'll try to look a little harder, but definitely cool. Um, I know an old environmental teacher, maybe science teacher, would definitely think that's cool. It is very big. Definitely will not get listed on eBay, but hopefully it sells local. Next up, we paid $2 for all these. Um, try to get it so the sun isn't glaring on it some beer posters um earnest bottle beer brewed from choices malt and hop um these aren't too crazy probably about 10 per um obviously we're going to take them off the old cardboard things so we can roll them up and ship them so keep the price of shipping down um wonder brewing company definitely some cool retro i'm gonna call these retro because they're older um budweiser american woman older print newer, older style newer print um budweiser brewing chart um, another ten dollars um i thought this one was pretty cool surprise but um 1971 budweiser calendar complete tin can alley we got this from the month long auction we go to little pew has this thing in the floor. Ah. Okay, I don't want to hurt it too much we'll see if everything is in there then but let me get my cheat sheet out again we paid $15 for this so we'll pop up comps but that is pretty cool my mom said every time we went past it that her brother had it when they were a kid so from the 80s 90s late or 70s 80s i think um box does look like a mouse got it um on the back does have a kind of looks like an electrical burn but still has most of the box there so that's good um this came with the Phillies lot. We got some sleep shorts. Um, the price, I think, of this usually would be a lot cheaper. But at the time we were bidding on this, they were still trying to go for the World Series. And I think that drew the price up a little bit. But still, um, I think for the Phillies lot, we paid $22. So that's with everything over there, over there, and here. Um, just some regular stuff plushies um that's a usa beanie baby don't know what those are but we got some old darren dalton west chamberlain some old phillies balls um fanatic pin i think that's like five to eight dollars i like selling pins pins are so fun to sell they're super easy to ship um mike schmidt ball so i mean for the 22 dollars we paid um everything i'm keeping for myself for my personal collection and for stuff that we will sell i think we did pretty good um i don't know why nolan ryan ball would be in with the phillies but you know just some more small stuff that adds up yeah we got Mike Schmidt figurine Raleigh figurine 
Who's that? Joe Morgan, now Davis, and some Phillies glasses. Um, these will obviously go to my marketplace. Um, I'm not too into the. These are pretty cool. Um, Phillies McDonald's glasses. Um, not too into the Phillies glasses. Um, I have a bunch of Eagles and Coca-Cola glasses that I plan to use. So. You can only have so many glasses. These are probably the ones I would end up keeping, if any. The zebra stripes, definitely pretty cool. But yeah, um, five dollars a piece maybe um, at my booth. But yeah, so twenty-two dollars for that. Hats, helmets, paperwork, and all that. So not a bad deal. We'll go here since we're. I got this for myself. Seven up. Fresh, clean taste. Um, dated 1958. If it focuses, focus. Maybe. 1958 Litho, made in USA. Um, I think I paid 20 something dollars, maybe 30. Um, nothing crazy, but I am definitely a fan of the cardboard. Um, just because they're just so fragile and how, you never know how many really made it through another seven up one um i'm a big coke fan but i just love also the advertising i just feel they just made advertising a whole different world than and really what it came to today but seven up where's the action double-sided that one we paid 27 i think for back to beer signs like i said this video is going to be all over the place just because there's so much stuff but we got this Schaefer, um, just a plastic, still has a sticky on the back. Um, that's probably nothing crazy, probably 10 to 15. Um, probably came with a sign, I'm not really sure. But next up, we got George Killian's plastic beer tray. Um, that came with some um, ashtrays that are listed. I will pop them up here. But that came with that. We paid $6 for those, I remember that more beer signs we got this george killian's irish red um these are cash register lights used to set them on top of the cash register and put that their light there and it would shine down because bars used to be very very low lit shine down on the cash register so the bartender could see what they're typing in um now this has a blinker light in um i'm not sure if it's supposed to but $19.99, so we'll see. But if not, like I said, there's the bulbs that you change most of the beer signs with. Very, very simple. Um, I think we paid like 4 or $5 for that. Going back over here, we got a light bright. Um, it's all taped up. Box is a little dilapidated. Um, I'll have to see um, if everything's in there. Um, but we paid $5 for that. Um, I think $20, $25, maybe $30. Um, we'll see the comps, but yeah, I played with a light bright growing up. My grandmother had one in the toy room. All right, next up, something I try to always grab, but up wherever I got this, it usually doesn't happen because um, people, I guess, collect them up there or something because they always pay top dollar for them. Maybe they use them still, I don't know. These are very outdated. Um, Victor traps, um, definitely collectors use them. Some people still use them still or collectors collect them people use them but we got this whole box for like six dollars which never ever happens i get a bunch of different size victors um not really gonna pull them out but number twos one and a half ones um two and a half it looks like so we got this whole box for six dollars i'll pop up comps um there's got to be at least a dozen and a half in there so that's a pretty good deal for six dollars all right next up we took a shot at this um i still haven't looked up comp so you guys will be the first one seeing it with me but you know cds are bringing are coming back we got a hundred cd case um super cool all right we got another beer sign this one came from a monthly long one um don't usually i mean i don't want to say don't i usually bid on a lot of beer signs it's just sometimes i with the price I want to sell it for and the price it goes for, it just doesn't work out. But this time we did get a bunch. We got this black label. Next up, we got some Aloe Bean Bean Boots. Um, paid $6 for these. Couldn't pass these up. Made in USA. 
175061. Um, um, super, super clean, obviously. Um, I don't know if those are the original inserts or someone else's it was original but yeah very very clean um they barely look worn um bean boots um unfortunately there are the low top versions not the high tops but still pretty cool but we got this lot of signs um this isn't a sign it is a pretzel tin but someone made it into a sign so i'm thinking about framing that up because the edges are definitely sharp um this is definitely a roach roach sign but as you can see this is a hundred dollar reward for something um yeah that's probably not gonna be able maybe i'll sell it because someone can sandblast it and make their own sign because this is like older metal that you know i don't know maybe we'll see and another unfortunate one orangeburg um not sure what Orangeburg is. As you can see, it's just rusted out. But this one, someone might want. You never know. Don't know. We'll pop up comps. Um, got this antique show. Charles Chips tins. Um, another local thing. Um, this is what the economy tin came with. But premium saltines. Um, those sell on my booth pretty well. Um, just some little starter collection things. Now we're back to the beer sign auction. Um, another pretty good deal we got on this one because this piece is missing. As you can see, you can see the inside of the sign. Um, the light bulb's out too. So we'll have to get everything put back together, see if the wiring's all right, see if it lights up. But is a Budweiser sign. Um, Budweiser can right there, as you can see. But I believe like a little globe type thing comes out here. It's red. Um, I'll try to find a comp. Oh, I actually can't find a comp with this exact one. I'll try to find a sign that looks like this. But these are very old, um, heavy metal. Um, so I'm going to see if we can look in a Budweiser, if there's like a Budweiser sign group. Maybe someone has one laying around. That would be pretty cool. But we only paid like $10 for this sign. And all said and done, um, doesn't have a name of it. Um, I believe this is like 70s because of the can, um, flat top can. Um, all said and done, maybe a 200 plus dollar sign. Definitely a very, very cool one. Then we got this one at the monthly long one. Um, I think we paid $18 for this one. Um, Coors Light Racing, um, super cool. Unfortunately, um, as you can tell, that is not the original cord. Someone put that in there so we'll have to go in here and see and make sure everything is a-okay because there's a screw sticking out of there and i'm not sure that's supposed to be there but for 18 dollars um i don't think there's comps but i think definitely 60 plus dollar sign we got this harley bed spread um I believe it is all there. We got the comforter and hopefully these sheets inside. Yep, and the sheets kind of looks brand new. But we'll get that out and see. But we paid $15 for this. I think, like, there's not, like, exact comps because not too many people put it up on eBay. Um, there's not too many for sale. Um, hmm. Maybe, I'm guessing it's a twin um, I don't know if that's cut out, scratched out, or marked in, but that's what it looks like. Um, pillowcases, fitted sheets, and comforter. But we paid $15 for this. Um, comps um, are about $50 to $70 for used like bed sheet sets, comforter, but I believe this is the whole thing. All right, last little bit. We're going to film because this has been a long, long video. Um, thank you for watching. We have picked up a bunch of stuff. I will pop up other stuff that has been listed already because it's just been so big and we got to get it listed so we can recoup some of our money back. But next up, we got this Budweiser Girl lighted sign. Um, as you can see, this is come off, but all it needs is a screw in the back and this light see those are the lights 
if you ever need to replace them um, that just turns like that for the light but screw that together put this all make sure it's all 100% working like that one too and these go from 100 to 140 dollars um i believe 80s um dates down there i can't read it though it's a little dark over here this was definitely george killian's auction um we have this one this is kind of just like an led um nothing too crazy but it is super super heavy um i think it's like metal all the way around like heavy metal too not sure what that is but i believe we paid 12 dollars for this one um comps aren't too like even like throughout the past two years there hasn't been too much there isn't even too many listed even of uh killians i think like under 100 altogether in like the use category um still like older signs like 90s late 90s early 2000s but yeah yeah this one super super cool um definitely um definitely gonna be one i don't know if i'm gonna ship or not because as you can see this is a bracket on the side um it's double-sided and it spins i believe so we'll have to get that tested and working but we only paid 25 dollars for this um as i said even this you can't even find i don't think um but yeah, 2002, early 2000s, so not too new, not too old. Um, this was one I did pay up for. We did pay $60 for, no, this one we paid $80. This one was $80. Um, that is neon, actual neon, not the plastic neon. Um, the light inside, too. Um, it does light up and work. Um, comps are $200 on this, so... That's why we did pay up. Um, as you can see, um, it does have a transformer on the back, so it is pretty heavy. Another Killian's, um, kind of like an old like barrel type thing with a mirror. Um, that one we got for like ten dollars. Um, that stuff was just not going super high price, which was good. So we got a bunch of it. Um, we got this Aurora Skittle Pool. Um, as you can see, it is basically like new, brand new. And the comps are pretty, pretty good with this. Um, we'll pop them up. Um, only thing is, it's as you can see, it's underneath all my clothing, but it is heavy and large. Um, and you're not going to just tape that and put the label on that because it is a vintage game. So you want to conceal the box in its original condition. So you're going to have to double box it and put the label on it. Um, this is a pool table light. Um, Miller Lite, obviously, as you can see, has some damage. Um, nothing crazy. Like, the plastic isn't cracked. Um, it's all in one piece. Um, I haven't tested if it works, but all it is is two regular house lights. That's all they are. You know, I was looking through the pictures, and I said I wasn't going to bid on this one because it was missing two letters. And when the auctioneer had it up, I was behind him, and it was at $2, so I was like, oh, yeah, you can't beat a beer sign for $2, um, yeah, you really can, because it's missing two letters, and that's why you got it for $2. This one, um, as you can see, cracked pretty bad, um, eight tree beverages, though, um, local to here, Allentown, PA, um, advertising, very, 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 very limited, um not too many pieces throughout anywhere but um they said the clock didn't work um i don't know if it lights up or not the least we can do is at least get it lit up and that is going to do it for today's video everyone i know we were all over the place thank you for sticking with thank you for watching we just got so busy with q4 these auctions were within three days of each other so i gotta get to work i gotta get unpacking all this stuff everything sorted everything listed there are already some stuff listed so i'll try to pop that up throughout the video as best as i can we have tons of yard sale treasure hunts that are loaded up for the winter we still have one more indoor yard sale that's a very very big one inside an expo center so we'll see what we can find yet 
and we got some auctions to hold this over for the winter. We got thrift stores, so hopefully we can still find some treasures that aren't just at yard sales. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. We'll be back with a ton more treasure hunts.